Hey, what's up, everybody? Wayne from Derby City Sabres. Got a uh, commission. I finally got finished for Jamie Lovinger. Uh, after three clamps, this is we'll try three different freaking clamps on this thing, guys. If you're going to build, don't do it. Just wait for the Romans, man. It'll save you a lot of headache. Uh, I went through one. I think it's probably, I, I, looking at it, it looks like it was probably a TSS, which didn't even come close. Uh, the other Graflex clamp that he got almost worked. And this one actually worked. Uh, you know, I actually got to work with a lot of uh, working with the card and uh, the plunger. Uh, still a little tighter than the Romans clamp, uh, but still fine. I got everything to work right, and this is good. It should be fine, man. If you need to loosen it every once in a while, you can pop it up, but this will spin off without taking this card off, vice versa, whatever, so you don't need to be opening and closing the clamp. Uh, anyway, so uh, we got... Uh, uh, my own uh, weathering job. Did not use a stencil. Out of the 10 V2s I built or I'm building, I only got one request for the stencil. I prefer the custom weathering. That way, uh, you know, this saber looks different from this one. And, you know, even to this one, which still looks very similar. These are all done by hand. All right, so with that, Jamie, just a couple of ways to show you how this thing works. I know you're used to the uh, Plector Nano Biscotti. Uh, this is going to have a aux button on it and your power-up button. Uh, so the aux button is going to be down towards the bottom, the power-ups on the top. Cycle, you got three fonts. You got your main font, which is the Return of the Jedi uh, Skywalker font by Blaco. Skywalker ROTJ. The cycle to your next font. Skywalker. Either again. Father, Son. Father Sons, Igons, Return of the Jedi, stock font. It's still a great font. And I can't remember what that one's called. He says it there, but I can't understand what he's saying. And that's, I think, more of a darker side. Uh, and actually, I got that one with the green, green mixed with the white. So. Uh, so this does have a, uh, a Spark 2 in it, uh, 18650 and a Tri-Cree from Justin Marshall. This is all I use. So with that, let's go ahead and fire this jewel up. Oh, you got Saber Tracks. You can actually put MP3s on there if you want to and play as a player. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's go back Sky to the Walker, R -O -T -J. All right, we got it on there. So the fire is still up. You just hit the power. You can see the crystal chamber in there. All oh, the smack talk about the smart too. Some sensitivity sucking. Suck on this. Whatever, dude. And this is stock. I ain't even touched the configuration on that. So, uh, to get your blaster, man, you're just going to tap the ox. And to hold down the, uh, for your uh, lockup, you're going to hold the ox down. Let off when I got set up, you let off. You can actually go in and set it where you have to hold it, and as soon as you let off of it, it quits. That's how I did it. Now, uh, with the Skywalker font, it may boot up with the uh, music plan. It's, it's random, so let's see if we can get the music. Uh, this is regular. First time, let me see if I can get this. Skywalker ROTJ. Yeah, like I said, it's random. Boy, like I said, you just switch it where it goes in order, I guess. Well, it sounds 
right up through her eye here. So let's see the insides of this jewel. So like I said, don't even have to take the clamp loose. We got the golf. 3D chassis, painted. Uh, I think I got uh, uh, four or five accent LEDs going. Uh, could have used eight, but man, you get eight in here, it's gonna be like, it already looks like a Christmas tree. Four is enough for the saver. Uh, it's all painted. Uh, like I said, it's got the spark too. You got your access to your car right here. Uh, just like your uh, other golf chassis, you have the uh, kill key that you can turn to turn it off. This one you'll want to turn it off when you're not using. And then just to turn it on, you just turn it until the lights come on. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. Slide this out. The beautiful crystal chamber, all metal. A real quartz crystal in there. Uh, and the cool thing, like you know about this chassis, you got your aux and your regular button power here, so you can turn it down like that. Boom. It's beautiful. Slides back in. Uh, oh, here it is. <laughs> I got a couple of V2s laying around here that I'm working on. Slides back up. Now, how this blade works, man, you're going to slide this off, drop it on the floor. Uh, and you can watch uh, Aaron's video, and I think uh, Ryle has one too. But what you're gonna do is I'm gonna send back this. Uh, this is actually my blade. Uh, so you got this other blade piece that I just leave on mine, it slides on and off, whatever you wanna do. Uh, but you got the little metal sleeve that goes on here, and this O-ring. Now what you wanna do is make sure, like I have to redo mine, and mine's actually a little too low. Uh, it needs to slide up just a bit because what you want is you want this o-ring to be above the hill just a little bit mine is barely above so it acts a little wobbly sometimes so this needs to be up not a lot just a tiny bit uh and actually it looks like mine could just it's not completely flat so i would start uh it's just making sure that your blade is completely flat with this because uh, you can't really tell on mine, but mine is not perfect. So that's my bad on that. So it just slides on there. Make sure you got the compression ring on there. Slide that down, slide this down and twist it. And if you got it done right, uh, this is, it's not gonna come out for sure, but uh, it, it's got a little wobble to it because I didn't do it right. So, and you just turn it on. Green, green, white. And let's go to the father's son. A little bit of different blade flicker. Smash my down the mill. Go 
last font's the one where I added the white. You can't really tell, but it's a little, it's a lot. Hey, she can a little bit. It's a lot lighter green than, uh, just the white not to mix with it. So it gives you a little bit different shade. This place is all roll, bitches. Take it off. We got this and let's unscrew it. Spots back off. Let me put this sexy piece back on. Now I just realized that uh, I need to install your D-ring. So your D-ring will be right here. So one more time. So there she is, and you're going to see several more of these babies. Uh, the next one I got coming out is going to be a uh, Crystal Focus 7.5, which will be pretty cool. Uh, then I got another 7.5 with a color extender R RGB. Then I have Jared's, where he's going to do a prism on his. And then I got another one that I think we're waiting on, the 8. Crystal Focus 8, so, and I think I have an Igniter one coming in too, so I can't remember, so, awesome, so, uh, if you got any questions, hit me up, let me know, uh, thanks for watching, may the force be with you.